Hello and welcome to tutorial 167. In this tutorial we're going to be calculating the average true range using a price series provider. So what I've got on the chart at the moment is a in fact two nine minute e-mini charts and what I'm doing on the chart on the right is actually calculating for that time scale the average true range using both a price series provider, a nine minute price series provider and the nine minute chart. And then what I'm doing on the left, I'm uh, calculating the average true range using the trade station average true range indicator. Now you might think, well, what's the point of that? Well, the thing is the, the chart on the right, this was designed to just check that the two values were the same calculated using the PSP and using the price but also what we can do is if we go into the um, time scale or time frame and change it to something different so for example we could choose a five minute chart now of course you'll see now that these two values are different because one of them has been calculated using the five minute chart the other one's being calculated using the PSP so we would expect them to be different but what we can do just to check that this thing is working again is to find a time on here which is on the five minute chart so if we just go back for example 10 30 and uh, you might not be able to see it no i think it's uh, visible at the bottom of the screen anyway the value of the atr of 10 30 1.91 using the trade station indicator and if we go to the 10 30 chart here you'll see that the value is 191 as well so um, the point of this program is that if you wanted an average true range for a different time scale uh, from the chart that you're using then this enables you to do that so let me uh, let me show you the program and we'll just go through it now um, one of the uh, one of the questions I had was well why can't we just put the value of the PSP series into the standard average true range program but let me just right click on that and then open the function there's probably several reasons why we can't do this but one of them just jumped out at me immediately and what I'm doing here is right clicking on those functions and pressing the open function and then right clicking on that function and opening it now you can see here that this part of the the function that the trade station program is calling is actually using the close of one barker which is a value from the chart rather than the price series provider so that alone would uh, mean that this would not work as i say there may be other reasons so let's go to the program and the first thing that we would do is and what i've done is copy the psp syntax here but if you were doing this from scratch you would go to the toolbox and you would click on price series provider or double click i should say then you would go to price series provider go to properties and you would put in the values that you want to use some of them you probably can't put in but we can do that later having done that and let's just assume I put in the values you would go to the designer generated code and you would be able to copy the code that relates to the price series provider copy that into your main program and then you can make the changes as you wish but I'm just going to close that and I'm going to go back to the program. I'm going to delete that because we've already done this. Don't need to do it again. We're, we've got a price series provider named PSP1. We're doing it for the symbol on the chart. We're doing it for bars, minute bars. And we're doing it for specific interval spans. And I've created an input here, int span, which if you go to the top of the program, you'll see that is uh, an int input and uh, in order to set the uh, 
the range. What I've used is this first date. And this is the value of the first X. This is, we're gonna run this one, one statement. So when this is first applied to the chart, immediately after the max bars back, it's gonna find the date time from EL date and time from the date and time of that bar. So it's gonna make sure it's got the same range effectively as the chart. We're not interested uh, in this case for volume, ticks, um, used natural hours. We're going to do this real time and I've set this to local. You could use either local or exchange as you wish. So that sets up the price series provider. Now in terms of the calculation, let's just go back to the calculation for the bars on the chart and uh, clearly uh, TradeStation uses several functions to do this. We're just going to do it in the program. And all it really does is we go from zero to ATR len minus one. So that's zero to ATR len, which in our case, default value 14. And what it finds is the max value, the max list of the previous close and the high for each bar we're looking at. So we start, for example, at zero. So that's going to be which is higher, either the high for this bar or the close, zero is plus one, the close of the previous bar. And then we just go through all those bars. And uh, we, we then subtract from that the min list of the close of the previous bar, whichever is the lowest the close of the previous bar or the low of this bar. And that creates uh, or calculates the true value for each bar going back 14 or going back ATR len bars. And then we, we summate those into value three, which we reset to zero before we do this calculation. Then having gone through those ATR len bars, we can calculate the average by simply saying uh, value three divided by ATR len. So that's using the bars on the chart. It's not too dissimilar for the PSP. And what we do, we reset the value where we're going to store the sum of the true ranges. We go from value one to ATR len minus one. Except this time you'll notice that instead of uh, C and H, what we're doing is PSP one close and PSP one high and PSP one close and PSP one low. Otherwise, the logic is the same. And then having calculated the sum, we can do, we can average it by dividing value two by the ATR len. So that's all there is to it. I've uh, tested this for minute bars and it seems to work well. Okay, so I'm now in TradeStation 9.5, pretty similar setup apart from I've now got two seven minute charts open, same program. Uh, one thing that I um, that you must make sure is that in the PSP, the time zone is hard coded to local. You could change that to uh, exchange if you wanted to, just by replacing local with exchange. But uh, what you do need to do is make sure that your charts are also set to local. So if you go to format symbol, this is in 9.5, then make sure that the chart is set to local as well. Otherwise, the plots won't match up. Anyway, hopefully uh, this is useful to you and uh, please join the Markplex email list. If you have not done that already, that's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X dot com. And also, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to this channel and uh, click the little bell. Thank you very much.